as someone who has been decluttering their own stuff for years and has been helping people declutter and simplify their own homes, I realized that there are tons of signs that your house is telling you that it's too cluttered. And in this video, I want to share with you several signs that you just simply have too much stuff. The first one is you have trouble finding things you use often. If you're constantly searching for the television remote or that book you're reading or whatever it might be, you might have too much stuff. You should be able to keep track of your belongings and set things down without totally losing track of them. You always have to clean up before anyone comes over. Are you always scrambling to hide your mess before friends and family visit? If you're filling a closet with items to clean up quickly, consider getting rid of some stuff instead. You don't do the one in and one out rule. I've talked about this rule so many times on my channel, but I truly believe this one has helped me stay as minimal as possible because when you bring something into your home and you let something go, you're not adding more clutter to your space. The one in one out rule can be applied to anything, accessories, furniture, shoes, anything in your home. And when you implement this rule, it's going to help you stay clutter free. You buy organizational bins and it doesn't work out. The first rule before you buy any organizational bins is to declutter. A lot of people go into buying these pretty organizational items thinking that it's going to solve their clutter problem, but this is not the case. You definitely want to declutter first before you buy any organizational items. You have piles. This can be piles of your kids' paperwork, piles of clothes, piles of anything. If you have anywhere in your home that's just collecting piles of items, then that's definitely a sign that it's time to declutter and let some stuff go. You don't want to have piles of stuff sitting in your home that not only creates visual clutter, but that's also a sign that's telling you you need to declutter and let go. You have a lot of laundry. When you have a lot of laundry, that means you need to declutter your clothes. It can be very overwhelming and exhausting to be constantly doing laundry. And no matter what your situation is, whether you're someone doing laundry for yourself or for five other people, you want to make sure you go through all the clothing and consider simplifying so you don't always have to do laundry constantly or take up your weekends doing laundry all day. You have a lot to clean. If you find yourself spending hours a day cleaning or you end up scheduling cleaning on the weekends and it takes you all day, this is also a sign that you might have too much stuff. So a lot of people have this misconception about me that I enjoy cleaning and that's further from the truth. I do not like cleaning and that's why I became more minimal and simplified my life because I do hate cleaning. And when you have less stuff, that means you have less to clean. You wish you had more space. A lot of people fall into this trap of thinking that they need more space, more storage solutions, more room in their closet for their stuff. But the truth is, you have enough space, you just need to get rid of more stuff. You can't close your drawers, cabinets, or closets. If you see that your clothes are overflowing from your closet and drawers, it's time to declutter. Clothes are meant to be stored inside closets and drawers, not spilling out of them. If you can't actually fit your clothes into your closet or dresser, there's a good chance that you have more clothes than you actually need. So consider going through all your clothes, fill a bag or two, and donate to your local thrift store or charity. You buy things you didn't know you already had. If you're constantly buying duplicates because you can't find items you already own, that's another clue that you have too much stuff. I've seen this be a problem in especially with my parents. They are always buying things because they can't find it. They think that they don't have it when in reality they do have it. It's just buried underneath piles of stuff. So in order to avoid this, you want to clear the clutter, know where everything is, make sure that everything has a home and that way you won't buy any more duplicates. You can't decide what to wear. One of the things that I have loved after simplifying 
my closet and my dresser and having less clothing is the decision making is so much easier now whenever I have to get dressed. Before I would spend so much time looking through my closet, trying to put pieces together here and there and end up frustrated because I couldn't find the right outfit for that day. And after simplifying my wardrobe, I now don't experience that issue. I can find my clothes easily. I know how to wear them. I can mix and match things and it's just so simple. I don't have to make that decision every day anymore. Your items have tags or things that you have purchased are still in the bag. Most of us purchase things with the intent to actually use them. If you're finding stuff around your house that you've never actually opened, unwrapped, or used, you might have too much stuff. There's typically a reason why we leave these things unopened, unwrapped, or unused. Maybe if it's, for example, a shirt, you have a tag on it still and it's hanging in your closet because you meant to return it and you just never returned it because you didn't like the fit of it or whatever reason it was. It's probably still hanging in your closet because you haven't had a chance to return it, sell it, give it away, and things like this will add up quickly as well. And things like this can be found in homes of people that have too much clutter. You own shoes you don't wear. This is also a sign that you just have too many shoes. Again, there might be a reason why you're not wearing those shoes. Are they uncomfortable? Do you hate how they feel? Can you not walk on them comfortably? Sometimes we buy these shoes because they're appealing to us and we have, again, good intent of wearing them, but then we end up not using them. So for whatever reason, we end up just collecting shoes until we find the right ones and then we never let go of the ones we already have. You don't know what mail you have or what mail you received. This often shows up as bills being unpaid or paying bills late because you can't find the thing that was mailed to you. This can get mixed up with old mail and the new mail and it's just impossible to find if you have too much sitting around. I personally like to have those digitized and I also set up automatic payments so that I never pay a bill late, but I know a lot of people don't like to do this, but if you're one of those people that like to have physical mail, then it's very important that you stay on top of your mail. Your things don't have homes. If you find yourself saying, I don't know where that goes about things in your home, you should definitely find homes for things because it makes it just so much more easier to find and you're not just frantically looking for your items all the time. It's easy enough for things to have their own home when you don't have too many belongings. You don't use all your seasonal decorations. So one thing that you always want to do before you go shopping for new seasonal decor, if you do this, is to take a look at everything that you already have so that when you go to the store, you know what you are looking for and that way you don't buy duplicates. If you find yourself not using all the decor during that season, then maybe it's time to declutter. You don't have time to enjoy your space. If you find yourself constantly cleaning and tidying, then Maybe look around in your home and see if there's anything that's causing this problem and see if there's anything that you can let go of. Homes are sanctuaries and you should have time to enjoy your space no matter what time of day, so consider letting stuff go. You can't move around. So this one borders on hoarding, but if you have so much stuff that you find it hard to comfortably get around in your own home, you have too much stuff, period. If you guys have watched my Hoarder Garage Declutter series, you guys know that in the beginning, we barely were able to move around in that garage. And that was definitely a sign that it was too much. It was time to start letting stuff go. And that's when that whole journey started of decluttering the garage. So if you have an area in your home where you just struggle to get by, then it's time to let go. If you find you're one of those people that you can't fit your car in the garage, Maybe it's time to do some garage decluttering. And if you need any inspiration on that, you definitely want to check out my Hoarder Garage Declutter series for some inspiration. You forget what you put in storage boxes. Storage boxes can be a great way to keep clutter out of sight as long as you know what they're hiding. If you have no idea what's inside your storage boxes, 
the chances are you're holding onto stuff you don't need. You buy a storage unit. The average cost of a storage unit is almost $90 per month. You can do so much more with all this money instead of buying a storage unit to put useless stuff in. Storage units can be great for temporary solutions when you're moving or times in transition. However, you want to make sure that the things you're holding on to are worth the monthly fee for that unit. If you're paying to store items you no longer need and will never use again, it might be time to get rid of stuff and that storage unit. You frequently discover expired food in your fridge, pantry, and deep freezer. I'm sure a lot of us have experienced times where we have expired food and it has to get thrown out, but if this is a common occurrence in your kitchen, you might want to consider the fact that you have too much stuff and make a plan to avoid this by either meal planning, meal prepping. You get creative in hiding your stuff. So you might be hiding things behind the couch, under the bed, shoving things in a closet, if you find yourself hiding things like this, that's definitely a sign that you have too much. You find yourself saying just in case a lot. If you haven't fished in five years but are holding out hope for the day that you do it again, it's probably a sign that you have too much. Just in case items can be very hard to let go. We come up with a ton of reasons in our minds of why we need to hold on to it and we justify all these reasons but you have to be realistic with yourself and truly ask if you haven't used it in the past three to five years or more are you really going to start using it again you constantly feel stressed and overwhelmed sometimes living with anxiety depression or stress brings on clutter so if you find that you're overwhelmed by negative emotions you might not have the energy to clean or organize or you might use shopping as therapy and start to accumulate things to manage your feelings. If you relate to any of these signs that you have too much stuff, you might be feeling suffocated by the stuff in your home, but it's never too late to do something about it. Take the necessary steps today to begin the decluttering process. Whenever you have a bag or box of stuff that leaves your home, remember a weight will be lifted off your shoulders. It's perfectly natural to feel embarrassed or even frustrated toward your clutter, but don't wallow in those feelings. Decide today that it's time to create a relaxing, clutter-free home that you deserve. And if you want more help on decluttering, make sure you check out my ebook. I have a link down below where you can purchase this ebook of 34 pages that can help you simplify your home today. Additionally, you can always subscribe to my channel and watch my videos for free. I share lots of decluttering inspiration and tips here, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.